guys, welcome back, or hi if you're new, my name is Kaylee. Um, I wanted to show you guys my April budget setup. It's going to be, I think, pretty good. Obviously not as good as uh, March is or was, depending on when you're watching this, but um, I think I can pay off a pretty good amount. Now, this month there has been some changes. Um, I think one of the biggest ones is obviously my roommate no longer lives here, so that income will be gone. Um, I did have a raise, but it doesn't fully make up for everything I've lost. Um, and I did pay off student loan number four, so I do have a $50 reward. Um, another thing that may or may not affect my budget just because of how things are is I um, have my birthday this month, and I will be visiting both my parents and my grandparents who live out of town so I will be gone two weekends this month so that may affect my grocery budget um and my gas um mainly for the reason my grocery budget I may not spend as much because I will be eating out and my gas because I will be traveling so um those two things may be um different but I just wanted to tell you guys in advance um Let's go ahead and take a look at the budget and get it all set up. And let me know, I do kind of set these up beforehand so the video can be a little bit shorter, but I would love to know if you guys would want to see it from the absolute beginning, um, everything's at zeros, um, me going, okay, what are my numbers, and uh, filling it all in from the beginning with you guys. Um, I would love to do that um, if you guys are interested or I can continue making shorter videos, which is kind of an easy setup, which is where I set them up in advance, which honestly, once you set this up and you've been doing it for a few months, it's pretty easy. Um, and I can continue doing it that way and just go through the numbers with you guys on what I have coming up this month and what I plan on spending. Uh, so let me know in the comments below um, which way you like better. Um, and Or if you don't have a preference at all, just let me know. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the budget. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this April budget. So for my income, there are four weeks, um, four Fridays in April. Um, and so my income, I am setting as the lowest I could make um, as 480. That's without working overtime. So um, 480 is what I've put as planned. Obviously, I'm really hoping that every single one of these weeks I work overtime and so it goes up. And um, this month, as you can see with my roommate moving out, my income isn't as high. Um, my parents have already paid me in advance for the Netflix, and obviously my um, grandparents' Netflix has completely been paid for the entire year. Giving, um, I do have a couple friends with birthdays this month, and I'm not going to get them something huge. It's just a little something to kind of know, let them know I'm thinking about them. Um, my friends are working on getting out of debt themselves, and so we may end up not doing anything at all, but I'd really like to put it in my plan, and then if I don't use it, then I don't use it. For church, I have $5 for each Sunday, and my grandparents' Netflix um, bill will come in at the end of the month. My emergency fund, nothing has changed. I obviously do have some interest to add on to this, but in general, it's the same. Um, there's really not that much interest added on each month. Um, rent will stay the same. Water, the highest it will be is 40. Um, something to note is these are my bills from March's usage. So... <clears throat> Um, they reflect having my roommate here. Now, she is going to pay for a quarter of these bills since she was only here half or half the month, and we split the bills So um, in the past. And so what we're going to do is I did tell her that since she is getting settled, she's moving, she is... Um, trying to find a place to live, getting used to her new job, waiting on her first paycheck and all of that, I did let her know that these weren't urgent um, because I can cover them. So in the future, she will be paying me, but as I do not have a set date for that, um, these bills will be paid in full by me without my roommate um, helping me at all. Um, but again, these kind of will be paid back. She knows how much... Um, she will give me and that's about it so for the natural gas 
Um, I already know my bill is $74.62. My electricity will be $77.52. My internet will be $76.49. Another thing to note is um, I'm really hoping I can bring all of these bills down except for the internet. Um, unfortunately, the internet is a set price, um, but I'm hoping there is another internet service that my family members on the other side of town have and they really love it, um, and they don't pay as much as I do. So I'm hoping um, by the end of spring, early summer, um, the service has made its way out here, and I can get the same internet service, the quality that I have, um, for maybe, I don't know, let's shoot for like $30 lower. So that's the goal, um, but as of right now, that doesn't change. Household maintenance is $50. Um, it is getting into springtime, and although today we are supposed to possibly have snow flurries, um, it was also 70 degrees yesterday, so I'm really hoping um, that the weather kind of balances out a little bit, and um, we will be uh, having some springtime weather, which means my grass will be growing, so I've added a little bit for lawn care in there. Pet care, I'm keeping it $40. Um... I did go ahead and buy my dog food, um, but it will not be reflected in March or April's budget due to the fact that I had Amazon gift cards. Um, I had almost $200 worth of Amazon gift cards, and so I spent a very, very small amount and went ahead and bought dog food, and so it will not be reflected in this budget since it was put on a gift card. But um, she is getting fed, everyone. <laughs> Transportation, um, gas is $200. Obviously, I will be traveling uh, this month, um, but I'm really hoping that um, it will just be basically the drive there and the drive back, and I will not be doing a lot of driving while I'm there, which I did this month when I traveled. So hopefully that's the case, so I will not be spending that much on gas. Oil change I will definitely be needing this month, as um, the last two months I have not had one. Um, maintenance $50 just for incidentals. Food wise, I have groceries for $50, restaurants for $50, and a reward, which will probably not be going to food, but since I've always put it in this category, I've decided to keep it just for the fact that I know where it is. But I'm really hoping to put this towards a um, couple pieces, if not a few pieces, along with some Amazon gift cards and a few other gift cards I have to buy a few new items of clothing as um, some of my items have gotten holes that are not repairable or um, they're just getting kind of see-through um, and... I just need to replace them and get some basics, so that is what I'm planning on using that for. My lifestyle, I have zero dollars budgeted for clothing again because the reward is part of it and the gift cards are the other. Miscellaneous, I have $30. Hair and beauty, I have $40 here. I really don't think I'm going to be using the $40, um, but I know last time I thought that I didn't need it. Um, need it, I ended up actually using it, so I'm just going to put this here as um, kind of a safeguard of having it in my budget. Um, my medical expenses, so normally you see $106 in here for my medicine. Um, you will not be seeing that in here this time uh, due to the fact that I um, found a manufacturer's coupon um, for the pharmaceutical company. I'm going to call it a manufacturer's coupon. I'm actually not sure if that's what you call it, um, but it allowed me to get the medicine for $30 this month, and so I will be picking that up on the 1st. I'm very excited to only be spending $30, but I'm not going to lower my medical expense um, budget due to the fact that I really, really am trying to get my bill from November. I know I keep saying that almost every week, every month, but it is truly something I'm trying to get. Um, my the doctor that I used was in urgent care um, instead of my normal doctor due to the fact that my doctor did not have an appointment available and I really needed to see one um, immediately. And um, so I'm really struggling getting my bill. So hopefully, again, I'm going to say it, hopefully I will get it this month. My phone bill, nothing has changed there, $40. And then Netflix, Spotify, Acorns and Hulu all are fixed prices, so those will not be changing. 
my debt is what I wanted to really show, which is my student loan is the amount that changes. In student loan number five, I'm only going to be paying off three ninety three eighteen. Um, so not as high as I would like it, but worth working overtime and hopefully not spending everything in the planned. Um, categories this month I'm hoping to bring it up to around 550 or six hundred dollars um, and that's really the goal that's all I'm giving um, due to the fact that there is some transition in my roommate moving out so um, I am learning to readjust my budget this month especially with the tax return not being on there I'm going to be learning how I need to adjust my budget so it may take me a couple of months. So this is uh, really all I'm shooting for is $550 to $600. Um, also something to note is the starting balance will actually be much lower. But I have not made the payment from March as it's not officially the last day of March yet. Um, that is tomorrow. And so um, it will be going down about $1,500, actually over $1,500. Um, but... Um, until I get it paid, this is the balance you will see. So after that, I have uh, almost $4,000 in student loan 6, almost $5,000 in student loan 7, and about almost $5,500 in student loan 8. So I'm very excited to be bringing down my debt slowly but surely. Um, I am, I'm, I'm getting it lowered. I'm very excited. So that's something to note. Also in May, my car insurance is due, so I'll have to remember that. Um, but I'm definitely excited um, now that my roommate has moved out to see how my budget does this month um, and see what areas I will have to readjust and what areas I will need to work on. So we will see what happens there. Okay, so there you guys go. That is my budget um, for April. Um, like I said, it's looking pretty decent. Not super great. I mean, it's not really what I would like for every month, but especially with my roommate moving out, that's really all I can hope for is a to actually be still paying off um, my debt while I'm adjusting to her moving out. So thank you guys for watching my video. Um, like and subscribe, tell your friends about it, and make sure to comment below where you are in your debt-free journey, if you're already debt-free, if you're just watching the video to, I don't know, laugh at me, please don't, but um, if you're just watching the video to kind of learn what other people are doing to get out of debt. Um, I'd love to have you guys subscribe and um, see where I go on my journey. Um, I'm hoping to be posting some videos about um, little ways that I have saved money um, and how it's actually improved my life overall. I've noticed that a lot of things that I have done to save money has actually improved my life um, health-wise and also made my life a lot simpler, like a uh, lot less stressful. So um, I will see you guys next time and um, have a great rest of your day. Bye!